you're looking at the breathtaking Aguasu Falls on the Brazil-Argentinian border. And today, I'm focusing on one of the behind the scenes personalities of F1, Lewis Hamilton's physiotherapist, Angela Cullen. If you're an F1 fan, you've probably seen Angela Cullen on telly. Maybe you don't know her name. Well, in this video, I'll let you in on a few secrets about this New Zealander. And over the past couple of years, I've photographed her a lot and come to know her reasonably well. She's loyal to Lewis. So loyal, in fact, that on her wrist, she has loyalty tattooed like Lewis has on his wrist and like a lot of people in the Mercedes team, the inner circle are loyal to each other. Let's have a look at what Angela does at the track because her role is so much more than a physiotherapist. One of her roles is to get Lewis to the track. In Germany here, she was seen getting out of the car, but she'd already dropped Lewis off at another entrance. She'd fooled us. Sometimes she'll come in on motorbike on the back of either Lewis's or Lewis's manager's motorbike uh, as a pillion passenger. And then she'll get off the bike with Lewis. Oftentimes they walk in with their helmets on. Sometimes she even has to act as a bodyguard for Lewis, in this case here, just shepherding people away as they enter the paddock. You certainly couldn't say she's anything but enthusiastic. She's been with Lewis since 2016, but she's been in the field of sports for some 25 years. So you work the mass out as to her age. I'm not game to ask her. But she's so much more than just his physiotherapist. She's his PA, his driver, his performance coach, his confidant, his friend, and without a doubt you would have seen her on the telecast shadowing him in the paddock and out on the track. And she'll be the first to tell you that it is her role to eliminate all the distractions for Lewis over a race weekend. So for four days she's with him almost every minute of those four days, including at night dining with him, making sure he's uh, eating the right food as part of his diet. She's also his valet. And coming into the Brazil paddock, I noted that she was carrying some of his clothing here in a, um, a monogrammed bag from the hotel. And I mentioned to her that, hey, you're advertising where he's staying there. So she quickly turned that around so that uh, that wasn't evident to all the other photographers. I often see her running through the paddock with helmets, getting stuff to and from the garage for Lewis, including his hands device here, and also race boots, race suits, bags of helmets here running down the paddock at, um, what is that, the recent Singapore GP. Another one of her roles is to actually get Lewis quickly from the garage to the hospitality suite and vice versa. And as you well know, Lewis loves to ride a scooter. And so often I see Angela running in the background. Uh, I do love this shot from last year at the uh, Japanese Grand Prix where she's just so smiley running behind Lewis. Um, and she's pretty handy on the scooter herself too as she was happy to show me in Baku in 2019, doing a few tricks. Now this was while Lewis was in the press conference and she had an hour to kill. And a lot of her day is involved in waiting for Lewis, either from a, a track session or from a media commitment. She's good friends with Rosa, the press officer for Lewis from Mercedes-Benz. And I got this lovely series of photos in Sao Paulo last year. And they were totally unaware that I was shooting until I asked for a two shot and they gladly obliged. Another one of her roles involves mingling with VIPs for Lewis or Mercedes-Benz. Although this particular VIP is a little bit younger than normal. This is actually the daughter of Nigel Hope. But one of her most important roles is during sessions, race day and quali, when she's getting ready for Lewis to get into the car. She's one of the first in there, she awaits him. He walks in and he's one of the quickest drivers to enter the car and she's ready for him. She'll have had already his helmet, his hands device handed to him. Uh, probably his gloves, and in fact I digress a bit here I know, but I happened to uh, have a chat with a, a trainer recently of another driver who told me that he recently presented his driver with two left hand gloves just before quali and had to make a mad dash back to the hospitality suite to get the right glove. And then I mentioned that to another trainer and he said, yep, I know the feeling, I've done exactly that. But once he gets into the car, she puts the screen in place and then she stands often with a fan on him if it's hot and she's connected to both Lewis and the team via headset. Take that out to the grid on race day and she's standing by the car when it comes up to the back of the grid and Lewis gets out. She'll hand him very quickly his hat, she'll take his helmet from him and his balaclava and I must tell you that Lewis is certainly one of the quickest guys to get his hat on once he's taken off that balaclava. And then the two of them will go back to the garage probably for a quick 
toilet stop for Lewis and often they'll go over the fence uh, which is a bit of a grind for Angela because she's perhaps not as nimble or as tall as Lewis but she normally manages to get the job done. So when the race is on what does she do? She stands in the garage waiting just in case there's a red flag or some sort of disruption she needs to be ready to go. So let's assume the race goes as planned. Lewis will probably end up on the podium or do pretty well as he does in most races and he'll go to her in many instances on the front row of Park Ferme where she's waiting for him. She'll also pose with him for a lot of the celebration shots because she is very much part of the team and on the odd occasion and it's only happened a few times this year she'll meet him at the back of the FIA garage after the race if he hasn't managed to uh, be in the top three and I particularly love this shot in Germany where he had a horror race in fact Mercedes in general had a shocker and she's walking him back to the Mercedes um, engineering room with her left hand in the small of his back to me it's just a, it's a great shot that shows the bond that these two have go to the other end of the scale and when he wins a world championship she's one of the first to be on the scene and in Mexico last year I was out on the track and he came out of the car did his interviews and then he said where's Angela where's Angela she was the first person to be called and indeed he did find her and I was very lucky to be this close to the action and he celebrated very happily with her and this is a shot of the pair celebrating after Lewis's Monaco win in 2018. What I have come to realise, particularly this year, is Angela has a very strong following, particularly on Instagram and at certain races where people even go to the extent of making up face masks and uh, grabbing her attention that way, and she's more than happy to pose with them. She is a ball of energy, and I uh, quite like these shots here of her and Mercedes communications manager Bradley Lord where she's just jumping up and down in some sort of joy. This was at the Mexico race and uh, she was pretty darn happy. That is Angela Cullen, an enthusiastic New Zealander working with a six-time world champion and very much a well-known figure in Formula One. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. I love your comments. Please make them underneath the video. You can see all of my blogs and podcasts at kimelman.com. Any picture I take you'll find on prostarpics.com. And for my best pictures during race weekends and throughout the week, head to Instagram at kimelman. Thanks for watching and stay passionate.